These boys told me they wanted a cattleman crease, bulldogger look. That's what I used to do. I rodeo until I was 52. But anyway, I know what he wants. You watch me. He's going to love it. I got a pretty decent reputation shaping hats, but me, not too good. But anyway, <laughs> I know I do. But we'll crease it any way a guy wants his hat done. I've done this for many, many years. It don't take me very long either. Just a minute or two, I think this hat looks the way you want it. The thing that's pretty good about this too is when I shape a hat, I tell people they're gonna win first with it. But I told a little girl that's a real good barrel racer here, I made her a hat. And she went to a big barrel race and won about 20,000 with one of my hats on. Because I told her she's gonna win first. That's pretty good to have a deal right there. But anyway, she is a good barrel racer, but anyway, she did. One of my hats, I told her it was a lucky hat, and it was. This crease is called the Cattleman Crease, very popular. Everybody likes this crease. Most of your rodeo cowboys either like this, or one called the J.B. Mooney, which is a really good bull rider. A lot of people like the crease he has. And heck, we can do anything you want. See how to take the shape now? You gotta really keep your eye on it and make all your creases straight. Make them all equal so your hat won't look lopsided or something. I've done this for a lot of years and most people that I've shaped hats for come back, come back to me. We can't find nobody shaped hats like you. Uh, yeah, I do. Learned it in Texas years ago when I was rodeo and learned it at the old American hat company in Houston, Texas. Some of these customers like right over to the left of me. I've been making hats for his family when they was just little bitty guys and himself. And he, he's got a family of rodeo kids that he tough to beat. The Beach family is their name. Good, good people. You enter a rodeo with them boys, you better have your hat pulled down good because they're going to get you money. <laughs> There's a certain look that I would probably say more so with real rodeo people. They have a look that just makes them look like a rodeo person. And the other hats, we call them basically gunsel hats. Because <laughs> they just want to play the part. But you get your real rodeo cowboys together, and they pretty much dress and look alike. It's the big, biggest part of them. It's kind of changed some since our modern world, but it's still pretty much for real. You can pretty much talk to somebody that rodeos and it don't take you very long to figure out if they did or not. This hat's going to be very similar to the hat I have on my head. That's what he told me he wanted. That's what he's going to get. But the thing about it is, whether it's one of our... This is not a hat that I made. I don't make straw hats. I make felt hats. But the thing about it is we'll make it the way you want it. People like that. You go to your regular stores, you buy what's on the shelf and they just don't look right. You come here, we can talk rodeo and we can make hats. <laughs> Done it for a long time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, let's see what our, our uh, client here has to say, our rodeo boy. Come here, rodeo, and try this hat on. <laughs> Somebody found something here. Huh? Oh, my goodness. He got the bull? He loves it. Yeah. He's been hugging it. Yes, yes. We've got another customer right over whom we get going. He's a year old. He's been buying hats from me since.